my friend? Sir. Three men, two women, 800 pounds. You've never lost a tug of war. Never in my life, and I hope it uh, doesn't end here. No, I don't think we're going to lose. Because we're ready for it. We're psyched up for it. We lost our big man, Gil, because mm -hmm. of weight. Mm -hmm. And uh, CBS had to strip down, take off their rosaries and everything else. But Do um, you think you know. the women will play a big factor in the poll this time? Well, Billy, you and I both know that women are the deciding factor in these events. And, uh, if, uh, yeah, I think so. I think, I think it's equal. I think we're all going to play a deci uh, decisive factor. This is my last event. I don't want to go in the pool. Any special strategy? Yeah, guts. <laughs> Well, I think that's about Go for it. You know, if you win, lose, or draw, it's going to be the best effort I can make. It always is. Thank you. Ed, Bob Conrad has never lost a tug of war. Will this be the first time? Really? Yeah. Really? That's amazing. I wonder if aging will change that. <laughs> In other... But he was asked what his special strategy was for this event. Yeah, what he, did he say? Guts. What's yours? More guts. <laughs> Bobby Conrad, he never lets up, does he, Bill? No, he doesn't. He wants this one more than he's ever wanted any of them. Uh, he's just a tremendous competitor. You've been in three polls. Anything more debilitating in your life that you can remember? Just a tough Regents exam in geometry I did in 62. But you got Greg Harrison leading off, Valerie Bertinelli, then Ed Asner. Harrison at 170, Bertinelli at 117, Asner, the ex-football player at 215 pounds. Remember, they had a strip to make the weight. Judy Norton Taylor at 116. Forget about Howard Hessman. He won't be pulling. I think that's all to the good for CBS. Well, he'll be cheering, and that'll help, too. And you have Al Williams, who's going to be the anchorman. At 189 pounds, the anchorman, usually regarded by the uninitiated as the key, but is he as important, really, as the lead man, Billy? Well, I, I don't know. I think it's... Uh, the lead man is real important, but I think if you got a big man at the end, it takes a, it takes it's tougher to pull a big man a longer distance. And then you go to the NBC team, and they line up with Evigan at 182, and Sarah Purcell at 125, Give some rope. Give some rope. Pat Ween at 191, and then comes lovely Aaron Gray at 120, and then the anchor man, the gutty one. Bobby Conrad at 178. At this moment, they're all trying to get their leverage. And in the background, there will be the cheerleaders, not the pretty ones, but the members of the team trying to lend cadence. We're about ready. All right, there's the scene set. Commissioner George Brett in the middle. Remember, the object to pull the other team's flag to the point of the white ribbon to at least touch it, and that would produce the victory. There goes Commissioner Brett. The whistle, and they're off. The big bulk edge seems to be with NBC, but in the beginning, Greg Harrison as the lead man has gotten a little edge, a little edge for CBS. Howard Hessman exhorting on the CBS team. Randy Oates, Gil Gerard exhorting on the NBC team. And NBC is in trouble. The key is the lead man, Greg Harrison. Look at those teeth clenched together. Valerie Bertinelli. Look at Ed Aston, the body prostrate. However, he advanced, he may be in years. That's the body of a former football player. CBS is getting close, close to the victory. They have gotten that flag into dangerous territory from the NBC point of view. Al Williams is the anchor man. Look at the clinched teeth of Judy Norton Taylor. And then look at the NBC team. Evigan drifting down the sand. Evigan trying to hold together. Pat Wayne up. And suddenly, the tide turns, and NBC has gotten new leverage. Pat Wayne got to his feet, normally a dangerous tack, but he got them new leverage. And look at Gil Gerard. Now CBS appears to be done in. A spectacular change in the flow of events. Shifting tides of fortune, and it's CBS that's now in peril. Back there are Aaron Gray and Sarah Purcell and the ever-present captain, the veteran Bob Conrad. But look at this. Evigan gets to his feet. Now they did it. Evigan got to his feet and did it. And he lies there in a state of absolute exhaustion. What a 
scene. The jubilation among the NBC group. The utter exhaustion written in the face of Ed Astin and Valerie Bertinelli. I'll tell you, Billy, it couldn't be much tougher. Let's talk to the winning captain, Bobby Conrad. Hey, Bob. Bob. Explain what you just said to Gil Gerard. Thank you for the cadence. Uh, principally, we put we put Gil against the world's greatest athlete. What's his name? The other boy on the other side. Harris. Uh, yeah, uh, Evergon. And he just powered through, and we put Pat behind that. And then we had a cadence. And we got the cadence was set by Gil, but we also got it from Melissa. We also got it from Randy. The, the, the thing is, you must have a cadence. You must have energy in a team. And it was pull, pull, pull. And they had more pull. weight, even when they took all their little stuff off, the mezuzahs and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, in the meantime, let me tell you this. The girls were critical. Tremendous effort oh, yeah. from Sarah and Aaron. I know. You know why? Because Aaron and I were back there on several occasions. We got married to each other. I said, excuse me, but pull. <laughs> no, it's great. I love it. It's a great way to. Uh, I want to thank this great team and all the other teams, and certainly the American public. And uh, whatever you buy, we're giving you. If you think it's easy, do it at the next picnic. All right. Anything to say, Billy, to the great veteran as he leaves, as a friend and a competitor? I love you. You know I'm not that macho. <laughs> Only you know for sure. Let me. I have to ask you a close health question. Yes. Are you going to retire? Are you going to pull an Ali and come back? Only if I grow. <laughs> I think we're both in a lot of. I think so. All right. Let's talk to the losing captain. Let's go over to Ed Asner, who gave it all he had. You see them embracing one another. Oh, believe me. Ed Asner. In the early going, in the shifting tides of fortune, it looked like you had them. You had them in trouble. Suddenly the tide turned. Yeah. Tough, wasn't it? I never saw a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me. You of remember anything? Said, no. I just couldn't get my feet to working. I, so that if we ever had slack, I couldn't let my feet take over so I could use my hands to funnel it back uh, to funnel back the slack. I don't even know if there was slack, mm -hmm. but uh, that would have helped the anchor man and it would have helped Greg. Well, I'll tell you, it was a tremendous effort by your team all the way. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I love my team. I'll go with them anyway. I'll go to hell for them.